Well, Brian, did you like the looks your team generated there over the final minute and a half or so, particularly Jordan's th threes? Yeah, I like the looks. I mean, we got into what we wanted. Um, we just missed them. So good execution. Got the shots we wanted. Those guys usually make those. Um, I trust them to shoot those, but they just didn't go in tonight. This was a night where you guys struggled from three, but you still held them to a low field goal percentage and uh, even outscored them on second chance points. Are you happy with uh, the way you didn't get away from what you're trying to accomplish despite your poor shooting? Yes, uh, that that was the the positive part of the game was. Um, we gave up too many offensive rebounds in the first half. I think they had 14 second chance points. And they end up only having two in the second. So we made a good adjustment at halftime, and I thought it helped us propel us to get back in the game. But we were able to stay in the game with, uh, you know, 5, 4, 33 from the three point line. Shots that we knew normally make, that's the process we want. We live with those shots. But we were able to stay in the game because we fixed our problems defensively, and that was really the rebounding in the first half. Corey had 10 points in the first half. Is, is there something that changed in the way they guarded him in the second half? What do you think uh, was different for him? Uh, no, I, you know, Corey got some looks that he usually likes to take, and unfortunately they didn't go in, but those were shots that he hits, um, and then that usually generates from him driving the ball, but the process was good for Corey. Can, hopefully can, he'll come back next game ready to, ready to go. And you know, despite the loss, a pretty clean game in terms of turnovers. Was this a, another example? Do you think of Jordan kind of doing a good job keeping you guys under control? Yep. Yeah, I only end up having two nine assists. So yeah, this is a great learning for our whole team. But great for Jordan to learn, put us in positions to make take good shots. I thought he did a good job down the stretch leading our group. Got us good looks. Like we said, they just didn't go in. Coach, you saw Denny Knight guard Scoot Henderson, uh, Aiden. How much does it help your overall defensive game plan having a guy who can guard one through five? It's great. That's the challenge we put on Denny. Um, we think he can guard everybody on the court with his physicality and size. Um, another big defensive rebounding game for him tonight, 11 defensive boards. So really positive for that. Um, but we're going to continue to put him in those positions. DeAndre Aiden had a great game against you guys. Um, obviously tough with some of the injuries that limited the size that you guys were able to put on him. But what did you guys think of the defensive game plan, and uh, how do you think it worked? Uh, he, he hurt us a little bit. It was a lot of boards. Or if I felt like early, he did hit some mid-range jumpers. And then that third quarter, the only thing we didn't do great in the third quarter is we fouled too much. There were some free throw attempts from their whole team. But overall, the second half defense was way better. That kept it in the game when our shooting wasn't the best tonight. How do you think Tristan and Anthony did against DeAndre? I thought they did good. I think when we, we started switching the pick and roll, it made it a little bit more difficult for him. These are great experiences for Tristan. He's learning daily on these guys. I thought another good game for him tonight, Can, continuing to grow and develop. So pleased with his effort. You've talked since you've taken the job about improving the group you have. You've obviously seen signs of that the last couple of weeks. That said, this was a loss that tied the club record for most losses in the season. As, as a coach, as a staff, do you have reflections on that? Does it matter at this point? Look, we're all competitors here. Everybody wants to win, but we're, we're so focused on the process to get to winning. Um, those things you don't want to hear, sure. We're all, we're all got inert stuff inside us to want to compete and win games, but we're in the process of improving and process how to win games, how to figure those things out. Our group has grown, our group has gotten better, and we're going to keep working on that the remainder of the season. Uh, Brian, early in the third quarter, there was uh, there was uh, a hug for you for Tristan as the time was uh, during a timeout. Uh, what was that? Was that a result of him staying mentally focused even though he missed that dunk, or what was the backstory there? Hey, look, I support our guys. You know, I think he had missed something in transition. Hey, that happens. I've seen. Top best players in the world miss those shots. So like, hey, move on to the next play. We love you. Let's continue to play. We got a long game. Nothing more than that. Coach, you talk about the growth and improvement of this team. And I know we focused on the past couple of weeks, but just what have you seen uh, from them from the, the course of this season and how much they've gotten better? What have you liked? I think our resiliency has grown. I think our togetherness has grown. I definitely think our defense has improved and that and the numbers would show that. 
So we're learning what winning looks like and we're building the habits to what that is. And that's been the sole focus is on building the right way, not skipping steps. And our group hasn't done that. And because of that, I think we have improved and we've shown that with some results here recently. But again, it's all about the process for us. Um, Ed from the Locked On Wizards podcast. Um, just want to get your thoughts on Jared Butler, how he's played this season, how he's improved because uh, he just got the uh, new contract. Yes. Uh, and... thrill, thrilled for Jared. Um, just definitely deserves it. It's, you know, the amount of work that he's put in playing down with our go-go and then with us when he's gotten the opportunity. Uh, he's been a steady hand and showed great progress running the team. His defense has improved, but thrilled that Jared is part of our program. First of all, congratulations on the new contract. Mm -hmm. um, what can you tell us about that and what it means to you? Obviously, basketball has been a huge part of my life. And, um, you know, you want to play at the highest level. You want to, you know, accomplish great things. And, uh, you know, this is just a testament to the hard work and um, just staying patient. Um, and um, obviously the the organization believed in me. And um, for, some, and for the most of it, it's God in my life. He's sustained me, helped me be patient, helped me be faithful to the grind, and kept me humble. So, yeah, it's just a testament to all those things. How do you feel like you've grown this season to this point? Mm, I think um, – for the majority of my career, I kind of played off the ball. And um, since I got here, they kind of wanted me to play on the ball and kind of add to the game in different other ways. And I think um, I've been improving in those areas. So uh, yeah, I think that's, that's how I improved this year. Coach Keefe talked about how your signing is an example of the team's player development, specifically with the synergy between the Wizards and GoGo working mm -hmm. well. What do you think the team has done well to help you get to this point? I think they've been on one accord as far as what they want to see from me. No matter who I'm playing with, whether it's the Wizards or the Go-Go, they've been pretty consistent on this is what I want you to work on, this is what I, it's the kind of player I want you to be. And I think that synergy really helped out. And um, obviously just the chance to play with the, the Go-Go is, is big too when I'm not playing with the Wizards. This is Ed from uh, the Locked On Wizards podcast. Uh, where would you rank this uh, contract, like this accomplishment, accomplishment for you in your career? You know, you won a championship in my career, Baylor and you got drafted. Yeah. So just in your whole basketball career, where would you rank this? Uh, probably like top three. Mm -hmm. Yeah, top three. Winning the Big 12 at Baylor was monumental for me. Winning the national championship was monumental. Um, this is big for me because I was out the league after my rookie year, and I had to spend a year in the G League and then work my way to a two-way. And then, you know, so it was just had to take some resilience with this one. Mm. Thank you. Yeah, you play like a dog this year, man. Like on a yeah. personal level, what's next for you? What do you, what do you work on next? Man, I, I I think it just starts, you know, my career as a NBA player, and I think with that, just I want to be like a cockroach. Like if a bomb bomb goes off, I'm still crawling around. You still see me, you know. I I want to be uh, just just tough, you know. I can take punches and just just keep rolling. That's that's kind of what I want to be. But yeah.